Hello my viewers and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up by tapping on the like button and be part of the conversation by sharing your thoughts at the end of the video in the comment section. Now before we get into the video I just want to give a big shout out to the brother behind this powerful message. Today we are addressing a crucial topic, a message directly from him to Gentiles including palm color people, Asians, and anyone outside of Israel. Now, he emphasizes that the Most High is far from ignorant and outlines what is required for all people to find their place in the kingdom. Now, this includes understanding the role of black Americans as the true Israelites and the importance of saving with righteousness. So stick around as we explore his insights on faith, servitude, and the path to the kingdom. Don't miss this out. Check his video out. I will be right back. And when I do, we talk more about this. You see, let's make this clear. Let's be very clear. The Most High God, quite frankly, he's not stupid, right? So this video is to the Gentiles. YTPPL, uh, Asians, all other groups of people, races of people who are not Israel, who are not, it. if you don't know, Israel are black Americans right from the tribe is judah from the same tribe as jesus christ right black americans are the chosen people above all people but this message for is for the gentiles right you don't have nothing to worry about because if you cleave to true israel black americans if you accept that if you come under our god if you follow our law statutes and commandments then there is a place in the kingdom for you as uh in a servitude position to serve the nation of israel black americans right that will be your prize right um it will be a righteous honorable servitude no one will harm you no one will beat you the most high will make sure that if you serve him you will be okay in the kingdom to come you will have a ticket to the kingdom to come which you want to because if you don't you will be destroyed with the rest of this world right so i say that to say this right those black people, Hebrew Israelites, who know they are Israel, but they have hate in their heart, right? The Most High is not allowing them in the kingdom to come either. Let me repeat, right? If you do, you really think that God is going to allow, if you say, if you're a Gentile, if you're white, say white tea person, white tea, M-A-N, white tea woman, right? If you serve the Most High in truth and righteousness, right? Do you really think that the Most High is going to choose a black person, a child of Israel, that is going to put you in a position to do wickedness uh, to you or harm you or do wickedness to you? Do you really think that the Most High chose black people who will rule that have wickedness and evil in their hearts to do harm to you as a YT person? absolutely not those brothers and sisters who have wickedness in their heart they might know that they are a child of israel which they are but if they don't repent and come out of that then they're not getting in the kingdom either okay the father in heaven is not stupid everybody that he is truly dealing with on earth knows precisely what their job is how they're supposed to execute it and what to do and those that are in the ones, the black people who we is chosen to be the head and the leaders and the governors and, and the kingdom to come, right? They already know that they're not supposed to do wick. We, they are in, they enter under and overstand that they are supposed to be a light to the rest of the world. So this message is to Gentiles. It is, right? Cause people think I H A T E white T people. People think I H A T E Gentile people. No, I do not. I just call them out, the system, the nation of them, the head of them, the head of Rome, the head of Edom. I call them out in a very blunt way. I am not a stupid individual. I fully enter under and understand that there are white, righteous white people. I fully enter under and understand that the Most High God has used righteous Gentiles, righteous Edomites, right, to help us during certain periods of our captivity i i fully enter and under this. okay so no i don't hate them it's like the most high said for jacob i've loved but esau i've hated it's not that the most high 
H-A-T-E's every single Edomite. No, but as a nation, as a whole, what they've done, he hates that aspect of it. But you're not dealing with a stupid God and the ones who he is actually dealing with, we already know how we're supposed to operate with the world. So I say all that to say this, when you see, you know, when you see our people, Israel, black Americans or whatever, doing what they do, uh, preaching hate, making it seem like no Edomite can't be saved, making it seem like no other Gentiles can be saved, just know that the mo they do not bear the fruits of the spirit, they do not represent us, and if they don't come out of that, they're not getting in the kingdom either. So if you are a chosen Gentile, white T person who the Most High is dealing with, who chose you to be a handmaid and servant in the kingdom to come and a righteous, honorable servant to you guys will have great lives, right? You guys will be under us, but you'll have great lives. You'll have families, etc. right? The Most High already has the people who he's dealing with. We already, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm not even going to say we aren't. I'm just saying. The people who he's dealing with already know how to deal with the world. So I'm telling y'all, you have nothing to worry about. You don't have to worry about going into some... Basically, you guys don't have to worry about us doing y'all what y'all did to us. To be quite frank. Y'all don't have... Y'all do not have to worry about that. Okay? We already know it's going to be all love and righteousness in the kingdom. But it will be order. It will be order. All right? Because it will be the black American man's kingdom under the most high God and in Jesus Christ, who will be considered, who is a black American man on earth. Okay. So Gentiles, white TPPL, Asian, East Indian, whatever, right? As long as you're doing what you have to do, you will be okay. But it requires full and unadulterated submission, period, point blank. Right? It requires full and unadulterated submitting to God's real chosen people, black Americans. All praise to the most high. Now, just like we have heard in the video, the message in the video is a stern warning against hypocrisy and hatred. The speaker makes it clear that neither Gentiles nor Israelites who harbor malice or act with wicked intentions will find a place in the promised kingdom. Now, this duality of inclusion and exclusion underscores the importance of genuine faith and righteousness, regardless of one's background. In addressing the potential fears of Gentiles about being harmed or mistreated, the brother reassures that true Israelites who follow the Most High with sincerity will act justly and with compassion. Now, this emphasis on righteousness and fairness highlights a commitment to ethical behavior and spiritual integrity. I feel this video encapsulates a vision of faith where identity and divine mandate intersect, offering both a sense to honor and code to ethical conduct. It challenges listeners to reflect on their own beliefs and actions, aging them to align with a higher moral standard while acknowledging the complex dynamics of identity and servitude within this religious framework. Now, as articulated by the speaker, the essence of the message is that in truth, if palm color people are living righteously and adhering to the principles set forth by the Most High, they have nothing to fear. The divine plan is not arbitrarily or unjust. Rather, it is guided by wisdom and discernment. Now, if individuals, regardless of their background, genuinely commit to living according to these principles, there is assuredly a place for them. The brother also emphasizes that the Most High is not lacking in understanding of fairness. The divine system of judgment and inclusion is designed with profound insight and integrity. Therefore, for those who earnestly strive to align their lives with righteousness and serve faithfully, there is no reason to be anxious about their standing in the divine order. Now, this message reassures that true adherence to spiritual principles transcends ethnic or racial boundaries, and the divine judgment is both just and inclusive. If one is committed to doing what is right, they can be confident in their place within the broader spiritual framework. Now, when it comes to the issue of the true Israelites, I know there's normally a lot of debate. This is where black Hebrew Israelites come in. Now, different articles have different perspectives on this. Others say that black Hebrew Israelites also called Hebrew Israelites, black Hebrews, black Israelites, and African Hebrew Israelites are a new religious movement claiming that African Americans 
are descendants of the ancient Israelites. Now, some subgroups believe that Native and Latin Americans are descendants of the Israelites as well. Black Hebrew Israelites combine elements to their teaching from a wide range of sources to varying degrees. Black Hebrew Israelites incorporate certain aspects of the religious beliefs and practices of both Christianity and Judaism, though they have created their own interpretation of the Bible and other influences include Freemasonry and New Thought, for example. Many choose to identify as Hebrew Israelites or Black Hebrews rather than Jews in order to indicate their claimed historic connections. Some articles even go as far as saying that Black Hebrew Israelites are not associated with the mainstream Jewish community and they do not meet the criteria that are used to identify people as Jewish by the Jewish community. They are also outside the fold of mainstream Christianity. Black Hebrew Israelism is a non-homogeneous movement with a number of groups that have varying beliefs and practices. Various sects of Black Hebrew Israelism have been criticized by academics for their promotion of historical revisionism and replacement theology due to the lack of evidence supporting their claims. Now, the Black Hebrew Israelite movement originated at the end of the 19th century when Frank Cherry and William Saunders Crowdy both claimed to have received visions that African Americans are descendants of the Hebrews in the Bible. Cherry established the Church of the Living God, the pillar ground of truth for all nations, in 1886, and Crowdy founded the Church of God and Saints of Christ in 1896. Subsequently, Black Hebrew groups were founded in the United States during the late 19th and early 20th centuries from Kansas to New York City by both Black Americans and West Indian immigrants. Now, in the mid-1980s, the number of Black Hebrews in the United States was between 25,000 and 40,000. Some of the Black Hebrew Israelite sects are considered Black supremacist and anti-Semitic. Now, according to the Anti-Defamation League, some but not all black Hebrew Israelites are outspoken anti-Semites and are to the cis. In 2017, the Southern Poverty Law Center listed the black Hebrew Israelites as one of the black nationalist groups of concern, along with the Nation of Islam and others. Now, the SPLC has also described the black Hebrew Israelites as a head group which supports racial segregation, Holocaust, denial, homophobia, and promotes a race war. And as of December 2019, it lists 144 Black Hebrew Israelite organizations as Black separatist head groups because of their anti-Semitic and anti palm color beliefs. The SPLC has since clarified that they now use the term radical Hebrew Israelite to distinguish between ex extremist and non-extremist sects and to acknowledge that some Hebrew Israelites are non-Black. Now, like I said earlier, there's normally a lot of debate on this topic. So many different perspectives on this topic on who the real Israelites are. But I want you to be the teachers of this video, share your views, your contributions, and your knowledge on what you know about what a brother is talking about. Thank you for always watching and see my next videos. I bring you another interesting video.